Nuts, nuts, camera, action. Kilometer run done. I see meditation like a practice of breathing. They always tell you to focus on your breath, but this time, like falling asleep, I was just breathing really full. Imagine getting so much practice, like through yoga or meditation, that you end up just doing it because you're used to it. That could be really good for the body. I'm starting in 2011. That's when I turned 18. So I can be compared to an adult or teenager quite easily. But that's when it all started going downhill. When you hear about bodybuilders talking about nutrition and them saying it's 50% of your gains, for me, I'd say it's at least two thirds. With the wrong food, you're not even capable of working out. And I learned that the hard way, drinking beer and eating pizza quite casually. <laughs> you just cannot do anything with Crohn's consuming that, unless you're really lucky. Everything kind of carried on going downhill. I got put on a load of meds. I tried to work out, actually, but the pain, as you can see, was just immense. And that was actually fairly normal. It was really hard to do any work or concentrate at the time. Nevertheless, I did carry on with uni, but looking back, that was just stupid. The side effects of the medication is a kind of numbing, a wasting away of oneself. So everything kind of carried on going like it did be from before. I mean, look how white I am. I'm pale in winter, but this is like anemic pale. And at this time, I'm trying a lot of gluten-free alternatives. And as you can see, the gingerbread man is hardly a healthy option, even though it's gluten-free. And there was me trying to make some gains. Still didn't sort my diet out, did I? Okay, so we get to India and there's a new level of skinniness. It's really quite tragic looking back. After India, I did, I was inspired to fast. This brought me down to the new lowest weight I've ever been, which is 49 kg. Straight after India, look at me attempting to do press ups. I put this online. I got a stick from guys, but it doesn't matter. I wanted to get back into it. That's kind of the main thing looking back. And even after the fast, which really helped my Crohn's, I ended up going back onto the meal replacement shake, which actually gave me the majority of my calories for a decade. With the ingredients basically being glucose syrup, loads of artificial vitamins, it's hardly food that will get you to your ultimate self. So I imagine it's a meal replacement drink. You know when everything starts going good, you kind of let go. Basically I had this bad boy. I start getting blood infusions and iron infusions really very casually. And for this there's really no comment to be honest. But despite everything, I carry on working out when I can. Which marks the beginning of 2016 from when I trained consistently. What up? I've got some new, exciting news. Yeah. More vegetable juice. Trust me, I hated vegetables like anybody. I wouldn't touch it with a stick. But now, find diets in place. It's a lot of vegetables, fruit, fish. No meat, but fish. I'm running. I hate running. I really hated running. I do it now. And you feel great after. Yoga. I really enjoy yoga actually. Not least for the beautiful ladies that, that are around. But it's so relaxing. And do you know what? I tell you honestly. Going to the beach this summer was the best experience. It's so healing hearing so many positive words. And just being self-confident in yourself. That's what it's about. But quite seriously. No chronic pain. 
no iron or blood infusions for almost a year i'm in a good mood when you have energy you'd be in a good mood and now i'm just a lot stronger i can do so many more things and i'm going to get back into a few hobbies that i had to give up and to top it all off my hemoglobin is 150 where i was going down to 60 or 70 less than half and 150 is dead in range so what can i say And this is it. This is my new life. Remember, don't accept chronic illness as the norm. It's not. Just share the message. That's the main thing. Peace out, guys.